and you are now staring at the awesome face, and the awesome face is now staring at you. The reason why it's cropped to this size is so that um, we can look at the actual game. Because we're doing something cool, we're doing cutscenes. Now, cutscenes really bring a game together, or just can be a lot of fun. If you're like me, you have thousands of dollars of sound editing, video editing, and animation software. If you're not like me, which most of you are, you can get it donated by the Cedar Corporation. After you get the software, and in the end you make your video, remember voice acting is always appreciated. Even if you hate the sound of your voice like myself, you can always edit it. If you don't have audio editing software, get Audacity. It's great. You can record it, you can change the pitch, the speed, the bass. For instance, I was able to record myself, raise the pitch to be high like an alien, and then change the bass I wanted the voices so you could clearly distinguish between the two. This was able f and then I used some 3D software to quick throw something together. Basically it's a helmet, and there's two of them, and they bob their heads like their mouth is moving. Doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't have to. Because what we're doing today is cutscenes and how we're going to do it. And uh, cutscenes are important. So if we look over here, you can see all of our pretty files. We have the RTS tutorial game file, the Holy Grail. We have this, which is created afterwards, don't touch. And this, which is our video file. For every cutscene, you're going to need a separate video file, and that's fine. And what you do is you're going to open up your game, and we're going to go to an object, an engine, let's say stop, stop works, and then you're going to go over here to the create event, and underneath the main 2 tab, and under info, we have splash video, so drag that over, and then we type in our thing. In this case, mine is called aliantalk.avi. You do have to put the crap I lost it. Extension, that's it. Extension. AVI, MPG, both of those work, or MPEG, the full four letter one. Uh, I don't know if .mov works. I don't know, I think uh, WMV, Windows Media uh, Video or whatever the Windows one is should work. Then we have uh, loop and don't loop. For cutscenes you don't want to loop it and you very rarely ever want to loop it. So we're just going to leave it like that. And uh, as I put it in stop because that's right before we start playing our game. So that way it'll go to the menu and then when we play our game our video will show and then the game will start. So let's actually try that now. going to run the game. All of it all has to be in the same root file folder, which isn't too difficult, especially if you have an install package. What you can do is quite simply um, make it so that um, what was I going to say? It's all in one folder, and then you have a shortcut to the executable. That way, they don't have to go in the folder, and everything's all nice and easy. You can install it to a folder that you create, and uh, then you just make a shortcut on the desktop to your game. So we're going to play, and uh, that's, alright, I'm going to turn the volume down, this is the video, um, and then as soon as the video is over, you're not going to be able to hear the video, but I will be putting the video at the end of this video, and then you start playing, so it's a little introduction to the game, and then you start playing. Uh, this talks about how you need, someone needs to save the world, and neither of them want to do it because they're lazy, so you should do it, and they both look at you. So that's just uh, comic relief right there as you start your nice little adventure. Uh, then you can just start playing. So um, that's cutscenes. Uh, I will not, unless someone really wants me to, I'm not going to be going into 3D animation and how to make a complete video and video editing because I don't do video editing. I'm not good at it. As you see from right there, I'm not good at it. It's a really bad intro. And, um, but it's still there. It's something that's how you do it in Game Maker. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, no longer please rate, it's please like. They just have thumbs up and thumbs down. So, thumbs up is cool. 
uh, please comment and please make a suggestion on something you want to see me make a tutorial for for your game to make it better so it's just gonna help you out so please do that and uh, once again thanks for watching someone will save our world but who not me jobs for suckers but then who